Hello. Today I'm gonna to be showing you guys how to make a a Drake style beat um like your OPO forty or Noah should be used. Um to break these beats down, most of them, he does a piano, uh, uh many, many different other instruments, and then the drums. So those are the three categories you can I feel like you can sum it up into. So this is what uh this is, we're gonna go over the piano first. The drums are honestly the hardest, but the piano is also pretty daunting at first, but you'll understand it. So, um, as far as the chords go, um, I can't really explain what, like, how I made these chords. You have to understand music theory, but basically, you play around on your MIDI keyboard. I have one back here, or like even just on here, like, and just mess around a little bit, right? and uh see what you can figure out so once you have your chords you just have to have block chords and then i'll show you how to get them into the drake more more towards the drake style so okay, Israel. so first of all you just want to offset them a little bit so that they're not completely on the grid and then as well, you can pr press Alt R, and this gives you a randomizer. So you can control the velocity, or you, you can't control the velocities, and it creates a a pattern that is like it sounds real. Um, make it along the loop though, so you can add little like mm, I would say like the cherry on top to this. You need to add like some flavor to it. Like I have little cuts here and there. Um. That that you just have to make it sound real and then like change down. It's not like a trappy where everything is completely linear. This has to you have to offset things purposefully. Um, and then I I like to layer it with like a roads or something spacey so that it creates an atmospheric vibe. I'm not gonna play uh any Drake songs because I don't want this video to get taken down. But Star Sixty Seven is a good example of this where he has two two like instruments playing the same thing and then one turns up a little bit louder at a certain point in the song to like to pronounce Drake's vocals and like the make the sound more um like I would say hard yeah I mean hard is a trap term but it makes it sound like very clubby even though it's not clubby at all and it's more of a sad song so here we go this is just what it should sound like at the beginning and then also add your vocal chops right here this is optional but Israel. Right, and so now we move on to the instrument part. So, um, I bet there's at least 40 different instruments in every single track that he makes for Drake, but I mean, I I didn't I didn't completely do that because I don't have the right plugins. I only have well, I mean, I do have the right plugins, but it, it's hard to do. And it, it's it's or it, it's all about how where the vocals fit. So like I couldn't just go through and make all the make all the instruments. Like they probably have a skeleton like this. Drake has a skeleton over like this that he raps over, and then um, Noah goes in again and like tweaks everything up to you know where his vocals are the most flattering he puts like you know he starts the kicks there and the drums there etc etc so just for this version i added a guitar and it's very very low volume but it's it's in the back the music has to be very uh spacious you have to panning is very good um, and then, like, moving the volumes down a lot and having lots of hidden secrets uh, or gems and stuff, like, to keep it interesting. Like, the hundredth listen, you hear something new. That's the type of stuff you want. Here's the hardest part. The hardest part of the drums. So, my drums right now are this. As I said, it, it, 
the drums should move at move they move everywhere. So this is just like the very percussion 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 build part. So there's never like there's not like always uh eighth note hi hats like like in trap music. It's just you have to hear it out in your head and like put the hi hats in the place where you want to. Again, there's no place for me to. I mean, I can't explain this. You just have to hear it out in your head. Listen to Star Sixty Seven. You can hear that song. Really, it's really a good uh, a good model for like what the drums should sound like. The drums are interesting and they move. They move the song. All right, and so 808, there there is none, but for in the in my version, but there is lots of 808s that Noah uses most of the time. But I just decided to do the sub because I only have like really really hard 808s, and that's not what I wanted. So here's it. Here it is. So you want to have these stops, and. They, they just create tension and resolution for like everything that happens it just sounds better and uh so yeah as i said you want to have your a little vocal chops that's optional but like anything jamaican or in another language works really well that's what you should, you should end up with So yeah, thank you for watching, if you enjoyed leave a like and I comment uh, what you liked, disliked and uh, what I could improve on. Thank you. So dumb up in the bra, hit the walls like graffiti, Indian burns all up on a nigga wee wee. I think I need a foursome, Bella can do Gigi, it'd be easy if Renizzi hook